Hey there guys, it's Liger Zero, and I am here today with the actual first episode of Defect, the Spaceship Destruction Kit. Now if you watched my first look, you saw that I played the first couple levels here, one, two, three, and those are all the tutorial levels. That was just kind of a, a look at the game to see what the controls were like and all that good jazz. Um, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and actually play uh, one of these right here. I'm going to play this one right here. It looks like a race, maybe. Some guys demanding we send out our fastest ship. Um, so let's get cracking and build something amazing. So we're going to do that core. Throw some of this armor on there. What do you think? Yeah, that'll work. I was saying fastest, so I don't want too much mass. Um... I'm going to go ahead and throw a mid-crew. What's that? It's 20 crew capacity? Yeah, that'll work. Throw that underneath. Let's get some... Uh... Wait a minute. That music. I think I noticed something just a second ago. Let me test it. Wait a minute. Yes. Based on the wings you pull out, based on the parts you pull out, it changes the music. Whoa. No way, that's so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. So, if I build something just completely out of this world, eventually the, uh the music will be completely different. So every single ship is going to have a different sound to it, basically. I I like that. That's some uh, next level attention to detail right there. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to need to put two engines on this sucker. So let's do that. And then, mm, let's see, do I want 400? I'm going to need some serious stability. Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw two of these medium engines on here on the ends. Let's make those bigger. Mm, drop it down. And then throw. So what? That's a uh, one forty. And then throw a medium. Oh crap! No. I need just one of them. Throw a medium engine on there. Oh, that's meant to be symmetried. Um, never mind. I guess I'm not throwing that on there. Standard engine. Get another ninety in there. Maybe this big space rocket bell? Nah, we'll go with the uh we'll go with the standard engine. That actually we'll symmetry that up. Put those there and move them down. Move the cockpit forward just a little bit. Increase the size. Increase the size of the the armor move the engines back a little bit and I can blow those up there we go move the engines in nope actually you know what move them out move them down let's get it right on the cusp there we go let's give this a shot see what happens yeah we'll go with that launching Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, wait, crap. I ran right into that asteroid without even looking. Um, there are asteroids. And they'll blow you up. Note to self, don't run into asteroids. Asteroids kind of suck. They're assholes that don't move. So, unfortunately, I learned a valuable lesson there. That lesson being, uh, I need more maneuverability. That's my lesson for the day. 
This thing is not nearly maneuverable enough. And it's not nearly... Oh, crap! No! I didn't know that asteroid was there. I don't even know the full course yet. That's uh, gonna be a pain in the ass to figure this out. Let's go with... Let's change it up. Um, we'll go with this big engine right here. Uh, let's move that down. That engine has a very dark sound to it. You hear that? Yeah, there we go. I like that. That's a nice looking ship. Let's hope it flies okay, because if not, I'm not going to win this. <laughs> and from the looks of it, I'm going to have to be racing through this darn asteroid belt. And I need to be maneuverable. Holy moly, that thing handles. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I actually need less maneuverability. Um. What's the maneuverability on this engine? Because depending on what that is, I might need the steering of 20, stability of minus 10. I'm probably going to have to sacrifice some of the uh, looks of this ship for uh, being able to actually fly that on thing. What, that's uh, steering 10, stability 10. Yeah, that's probably all we need. If we need any more than that, then uh, we're messing up somewhere. That's that's for sure. Okay, launching. Go full to the engine. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, it is still maneuverable as heck. I'm basically tapping my uh, my forward key to uh, change direction because I'm just going so fast. Holy moly! Nope, missed it. Ah, I'm gonna need to stop missing these points. Crap! I need to be able to see ahead of me. This way, crap. He did not hit that. There we go, right on target. Oh, hey, there it is. Sweet. Nope. If I lose it right here, I'm gonna be so mad. Wow. This ship is so uber maneuverable. It's not even fun. Ah, crap. I knew there was something I forgot. Namely, weapons. I don't have any weapons to be able to take them out. Um, That's going to be a problem. I, I don't have a hope in hell to take them out because I don't, I don't have anything. I can run circles around them all day, but uh, that's not going to do me any good. Oops. Let's, um, let's go back to the drawing board real quick, boys and girls. And let's get me... Mm, nope, I don't have enough power for that. For two. I have enough power for one. I'll stick one on there. That'll work. That should give me enough of the edge I need. I can run circles around him while my turret does its job. Ah. Drifting. I'm gonna zoom out more. Holy moly. Oh yeah, 
past this one. Okay, okay. Down and around the corner. I'm gonna go this way. Ah, crap. Come on, babe. This is gonna be a close one, because I think this is the final... Second to last one. Okay, good. Whew. Perfect. Okay, Mr. Stash, what components do you have for me? There they are. The mutineers are back. Hey, buddy. Don't worry. I can run circles around you, my friend. Man, I forgot I built this thing like a freaking tank. Yeah, yeah. That hurt a lot. I am really regretting the job I did on the Alpha Slam now. Come on, baby. Run those circles. Gotcha. I'm getting really close to that asteroid now. I have to back off for a little bit. Uh, how much damage have I done to it? Oh, its engines are down. So all it's got left is its turret. Ah, oh, crap! Well, that was a heck of a way to end that. Let's see. What did it say I was out of? I was out of power and was out of... Crew, so I guess I need this core, and I need a bigger. What well, that's got twenty. Let's do this one. Okay. Now I'm gonna need. More weapons. Let's do symmetry. Do dual. Yeah, there we go. That works. How much mass do I have? <clears throat> I might need to go ahead and just put. Oh, nope, no symmetry. Put some extra armor on this sucker. Let's move that. Get that going. Because I designed this puppy to be fast, not to be strong. But if I need it to actually be able to blow up my old ship at the end, then I need it to actually be able to do some damage. And not be running circles around it while taking freaking hits from its turret all the darn time. Okay. Still maneuverable as all get out. Here we go. Oh, messed that up already. I was supposed to go down and then up. I should still be able to catch up to him though. My ship is way OP. Drift the corner, pull it up just a little bit, come through here, thread the freaking needle. I 
I came at that at the wrong angle, unfortunately. So threading the needle did not really help me there. Yes! Whew. Oh, he took off. And there they are. Hey guys, how you doing? How you liking my old ship? I built that sucker to be amazing. The Alpha Slam was one of my best. Sad I'm gonna have to blow it the freak up. I just need to stay out of its front cannon range and then I'll be able to outdo it. Come on, babe. There we go. She's having issues turning. I think all she's got left is her engines. No, no. I think she's out of engines at this point. She has wings, though, so she can turn. So she's trying to turn to match me, but is having issues. Come on. Oh, I think her her weapons are offline. There it is. Oh, no, crap. Oh, no, her weapons aren't offline. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Gotcha. I need to practice with building some of these ships because uh, I guess a critical part of this game is uh, building a ship and then leaving a flaw. That way you can totally take it out like this thing's flaw is that it's going to be super uber maneuverable um which is going to make it a pain in the ass for me to take out the next time but i'll have more armor so should have well, i wouldn't say an easier time but oh i can't go that way in the first place hmm whatever but yeah i'll have an easier time taking it out than i probably just had taking out the alpha slam because that was a pain in the butt oh, i have to get to the scrap king get out there and hunt down those mutineers and you shut this ship stealing thing down before it gets out of hand uh, <laughs> that's funny considering that's what the entire game is built around uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build the ship for the next episode then I'll come back and fight the next group of people so um, it doesn't look like I'm doing any racing so yeah I know I need more crew I'm aware of that I'll get some crew in that right there. Ooh, look at that. Or listen to that. It's all alien-like. Talk about creepy. Let's see. What do I want to do? Do I want to do two thunder jets? Slow acceleration? I don't need massive acceleration. Yeah, we'll go with that. Or, wait, how much power is that taking? 15 each? Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I'll go with two Thunder Jets. That's less power taken, therefore more is available for me later on. Because I'm about to have to put some decent weapons on here. Let's do... Partially guided, have a significantly range, significant range advantage over standard energy weapons. Hmm. Or I could do some tri missiles, which are guided and will home in. Uh. Hmm. I think I'll do two things of eco missiles. <clears throat> Let's make those huge just because who doesn't like huge missile launchers on their ships, right? And then last but not least, let's go with... No, I'm not going to go with the super powerful stuff. Let's go with this turret right here. 
Yeah, that's 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 the one. Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to rotate it. I just want to drag it to right there. And hmm. Do I have enough power for that? Yes, I do. Do I have enough crew for that? Yes, I do. You know what? Let's get a oh, never mind. Oh, God, that didn't even cover anything. That's like ah, that that's useless. That's worse than useless. It's like I can use it to cover my turret, I guess. I mean, what's the point though? God, I'll just be giving my next crew a. I'll be giving my next crew a useless shield. I mean, I guess that's not a bad thing. Eh, screw it, why not? It'll waste all their power, make them a little less maneuverable for the next time. There we go. Done. Okay, guys, I'll come back next episode, take that ship, and launch it and use it to blow the mutineers out of the sky. Well, after I make sure that it actually... No, it's gonna make me rebuild the ship anyway. Oh, hey, it doesn't save your ship builds. Or does it? Oh, it does! Okay, never mind. It saves my ship builds. Which means I don't have to rebuild it every single time. That's like the best thing since sliced bread, guys. I will see you again in episode 2, guys. Till then, game on.